Duchess is damn lucky you showed up when you did. Hope she comped you a drink or two. Lady out. Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you? Hey! Who the hell are you? None of your damn business. What's going on is that this one seems to think I know where this big treasure is and that I'm building my new bar out of refuse for fun. Lady, this is your last warning. Our crew is getting that treasure. And I will happily send you both to the great goddamn beyond if you don't start explaining where I can find what's ours. Treasure's our crew's business, not yours. And unless I start getting answers right now, I'm gonna start shooting people. Don't worry, I'll make it quick! Don't you is gonna end badly. Now I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Well, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fella named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy you put down. He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? That's what I was hoping. So, the details. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Oh, darling. Um, see, as fine as that idea is, you know, I was thinking we could take a different tact. Just give me one second. Uh, okay, I think I'll just... Uh, I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Yep, 
Well, you vault boys and girls carry yourselves different, like you matter. Plus, your pit boy was a dead giveaway, but that's beside the point. You think you can work from these schematics? Ah, huh, damn. Okay, okay, let's see. New plan. We paint all the Brahmin, and then we... That just... plan's fine. I can walk them through how to build it. How's that exactly? I was hunkering down for quite some time waiting for this headless monster thing to clear off on my last ammo hunt. Ended up reading some old training materials to pass time, and guess what? Made some tapes on it. Oh, Mort. Not the tapes. You have a better option? Not one that doesn't involve painting all my cattle. There you go, I suppose. You can talk to Mort. Of course, you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. <laughs> no, I haven't seen her. But I have heard her. My people found a tape just on the other side of the road that it seems she left behind for one of her dwellers. Though it's a bit out of date now. Maybe it was waiting there for you. Happy to give it to you. So long as you're still willing to help us. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. And here, that overseer tape. Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in... self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. Take good 
care of you. guy who could fix that. Message uploaded. Initiating broadcast calls. Attention, 
all consumers. New business established. Please seek out Train Treasure Hunting Incorporated to exchange goods and services. Initiate tagline. Follow the sign to Fortune. Broadcast complete. What is this? A uh, Braxo scouting. Right. You hear? Whoa. You're not Crane. The hell's going on here? Crane found the treasure. Holy shit. Where is he? The wayward, huh? It might be I pay the place a visit. Appreciate the tip, not Crane. Good luck out here. the setup you got here. So, rumor is you've got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. And Scout's honor. Spell, I have never seen anything so beautiful. Excuse me? How does this jerk know your name? You're working together. What? No! Can't you see their fu- Someone? A stranger. A time. Well, that stranger isn't a stranger anymore at all. I don't believe in luck or fate or any of that. But I do know that I wouldn't have changed it.
way with you. Well, you don't look too worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding? Fantastic. So that's where their boss will be. You just need to... Wait, wait West Virginia lumber? <laughs> that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why, exactly? Was wandering up that way not too far back. The lumber company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill... Duchess, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing, unless you got some big guns. Could try and luck your way inside, maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. You'll find them at Anchor Farm, if these thugs haven't already run them off. But if they are still there, well, they probably managed to work something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out what it was. Found him living in the stalls at Tyler County Fairground. Guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill. But, listen, I couldn't get him this bill, Hal. Probably have a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face. Well, that's a good thing, because that's all I've got. If you haven't already explored up that way, the fastest route back would be via Vault 76 and trekking north from there. And take care of yourself, all right? You're doing us a big one here.
plenty of unclaimed space up the road. Maybe you should give it a visit. Just like everyone else. Except we like our privacy. Trying to let you know you're trespassing. Free to leave whenever you like. Treasure. Nothing but trouble. We'd hope to start new lives here. Private ones. So much for that. West Virginia lo No. Don't know anything about them. Now I'd like you to leave. You'll go. Fine. We worked out a deal. Supplies for protection. What do you need to know to leave? Once a month. Food, ammo, scrap. Murray and me take it up to the mill ourselves. Gave us a password to get in. Blue Danube. Plenty. A dozen, minimum. They don't let us in the main building, so I can't say how many were camped out in there. Bunch of cons from back east. They're not crazy, though. Not like the Blood Eagles or the Scorch, say. You can reason with them. They don't know how to farm or hunt. We do. So we worked out a deal. You have something you can offer them, you probably can too. You, you do that. Maybe I can see having a little something set aside for you. One time though. Then by all means, beat it. Unless there's something else. Bye. I'm not supposed to be talking to you, but nearest Tonka Ocean is 300 miles from here. Someone really dragged that anchor all this way?
Get the hell out of here! Oh, yeah. You're not one of those creeps. Well, you're here to rob me? What joke's on you? Don't got nothing. Ah, uh, you talked to the well-done guy, huh? Now, yeah, I got a little trick up my sleeve. Could kill them all, if I wanted. But I'm not just giving it away. You gotta get me something. Well, you're a real piece of work. Fine, take him! Hope you get your throat slit! Oh yeah? What's the password?
are you looking at? Hey, you looking for trouble? You're about to find it. to get himself killed. <laughs> Batter was a long shot anyway. Always figured it'd take someone coloring with a full box of crayons to find us our prize. <sighs> you the one with the password? Presume someone gave it to you because they thought you could be useful. Name's Roper. Now, explain to me why the hell you're taking up my air. Is that so? And why exactly would I do that? Kidding, are you? No wonder no one can find the damn thing. <sighs> Fine. We'll leave them alone. Gotta be some other score out there. <sighs> the extents people will go to to drum up a little business. You're back. You managed to get those punks out of our hair yet? And they believed you? Huh. Wish I'd thought of that. But you did good. Shows maybe you could be trusted. Maybe. But there's still the issue of my missing muscle. They went out chasing some unsavory characters. Never came back. They're two of the tougher cookies I've met in my day. So them being gone this long means something happened. You track them down? Maybe I remember a thing or two about this crane fella. Well, missing person number one's named Polly. Got a transmitter in her. You could track her with your little radio there. Missing person number two goes by Saul. Those two are closer than toes and bad stilettos. 
So if you find one, the other's likely close by. Find them for me, and I'll pay you for the privilege of getting to yell at them in person. Hundred caps with your name on them sound about right. Huh, you're not wrong. Okay, it's a deal. So you'll find them for me? Not the foggiest, but that's where the transmitter comes in. Tune to her station and it should get you going in the right direction. Yeah, a little something I slipped under her exterior plating in case she got carried off. I did mention she's a combat bot, right? A friendly one. I got her reprogrammed when I bought her, so she's not gonna hurt you. Unless they bashed up her combat inhibitor. Well, then, all bets are off. I made the same offer to Saul regarding the tracker under his exterior, but he declined. Go figure. They're called the Scorched. They're an unpleasant bunch, in character and appearance. They've got raw skin, with crystals sticking out of them. And they're still real handy when it comes to firearms and bludgeons. So you'll want to be careful around them. That's for damn sure. Appreciate it. Polly's tracking frequency is 99.7. The once proud home of Appalachia's smooth jazz. I figured someone should get some use out of it. Find out what happened to him. If I need to find new people, I'd like to at least ensure I tried to do right by the old ones. <laughs> 